muscles of the neck. Most superficial muscle that is musculus platysma. It is under the skin and it is on the space between clavicle and mandible. The same it continues to inferior lip. Next muscle is musculus sternocleidomastoide. Sternocleidomastoid muscle. That is why beginning from sternum, from clavicle and attached to mastoid process. Participating flexion in the cervical department of vertebral column and flexion of the head. Uh, middle group. Middle group subdivides into muscles above of height bone and muscles below of height bone, that is height bone. First muscle, which is below of height bone, that is musculus omohaedus, omohaed muscle. It consists of venter inferior and venter superior, and between them intermediate tendon, the same like in uh, musculus rectus abdominis. Next muscle, that is sternohyoid muscle, musculus sternohyoidus, between sternum and hyoid bone. Below of this muscle we have another sternothyroid muscle between sternum and uh, thyroid cartilage of larynx. And continuation of this muscle is thyrohyoid muscle, musculus thyrohyoidus, between thyroid cartilage of larynx and hyoid bone. All of these muscles moves hyoid bone downward and in this case Muscles above of height bone moves mandible downward. They are musculus digastricus, digastric muscle consists of venter posterior and venter anterior, and between them intermediate tendon. And this tendon attached to height bone with the help of another muscle that is stylohyoid muscle between styloid process and height bone. Musculus tilehidus. Next muscle is mylohyoid muscle, musculus milehidus, between mandible and hyoid bone. And last muscle, impossible to see, it is above of mylohyoid muscle, that is musculus geniohidus, uh, between spina mentalis and hyoid bone. They are middle group. And now deep muscles. Deep muscles of the neck, first of all, consist of three scalenous muscles. Musculus scalenus anterior, musculus scalenus medius, and musculus scalenus posterior. All of them start from transverse processes of cervical vertebrae and attach anterior and middle muscle attached to the first rib and posterior muscle attached to the second rib. And if you remember, in place where anterior scalenous muscle attached to the first tubercular. rib, yes, musculus we have tubercle tuberculum musculus scalene anterioris. And space between these two muscles, between anterior and middle scalenous muscle, that is interscalenous space, parts of interscalenum, and here it is subclavial artery pass. That is why behind of tubercle, if you remember, of the first sulcus, sulcus arteria subclavia. And in front of anterior scalenous muscle heat is, we have spatium antescalenum and heat is subclavian vein. vein. That is why sulcus venous subclavia anteriorly from this tubercle. Musculus longus coli, musculus longus capitis, musculus rectus capitis anterior and musculus rectus capitis lateralis. These three muscles participate in flexion of the head or move head forward and uh, 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 musculus uh, longus coli participate in flexion of vertebral department of or cervical department of vertebral column. They are muscles. Now topography. You need to know four regions. Regio cervicalis anterior that is in front from sternocleidomastoid muscle, regio cervicalis anterior. In projection of sternocleidomastoid muscle, we have the same region, regio sternocleidomastoidus. 
Next region is lateral regio cervicalis lateralis in space between <laughs> sternocleidomastate muscle and, help me, what is this muscle? Musculus levatus yes. No, 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 trapezius. Trapezius. Musculus trapezius. Yes. Below of trapezius, heat is levator mm -hmm. scapula, scapula, but this one, that is trapezius. trapezius. And between trapezius and sternocleidomastate muscle, lateral region, regio cervicalis lateralis. And last, in projection of trapezius muscle, that is here, that is regio cervicalis posterior, posterior region. Two regions, anterior and lateral, subdivides into triangles. Look here. This triangle is trigonum homo claviculare. Mm -hmm. It is clear because superiorly that is homophyte right, muscle, right. inferiorly clavicle and anteriorly sternocleidomastate muscle. Next triangle is trigonum homo trapezoideum between homohyde muscle and trapezius muscle. And in front the same sternocleidomastate muscle. Next, in anterior region, this triangle is trigonum homo tracheale because anteriorly that is Oh, larynx and trachea, and inferiorly sternocleidomastate mm -hmm. muscle. This triangle, that is a carotid triangle, trigonum caroticum, and heat is we can press common carotid artery mm -hmm. to anterior tubicle of six, six, six cervical. Six. cervical. Mm -hmm. Next triangle, <coughs> submandibular triangle, trigonum submandibulare, between anterior and posterior venter of digastric muscle and mandible and smallest triangle that is a lingual triangle lingual heat is trigonum linguale lingual triangle or pyragos triangle heat is lingual artery pass and if we need to tie this artery in uh, time of operation we can found it in space between myelohyde muscle in front Venter posterior of musculus digastricus inferiorly and superiorly heat is hypoglossal nerve pass, that is a 12 scranial nerve. They are triangles. And last moment, that is diagram of fascia, fascia of the neck. Give me a copy book or piece of paper. That is what is it? Cervical vertebrae. Cervical vertebrae, you're right. And first fascia, which is surround neck. That is superficial fascia of the neck, fascia colis superficialis, and this fascia surround. Musculus platysma in front, that is musculus platysma, heat is musculus platysma, that is first fascia, fascia colli superficialis. Next fascia is proper fascia of the neck and it consists of superficial layer and deep. Now second, that is fascia uh, diamina superficialis, fascia colli propria, this lamina fused with transverse process and with spinal process that is lamina superficialis fascia colli propria that is the second fascia and it's surround musculus sternocleidomastoideus heat is heat is and posteriorly that is trapezius muscle musculus trapezius here and here. That is second fascia. Next, deep layer of fascia colli propria, lamina profunda, fascia colli propria. Lamina profunda, number three. Lamina profunda, fascia colli propria. It's round 
musculus omohydus hitis, omohyoid muscle, omohyoid, and anteriorly that is this one is sternohyoid and this one is sternothyroid muscle and heat is the same. Now next fascia that is fourth fascia fascia and the cervicalis number four fascia and the cervicalis. This fascia surround inner organs on the, of the neck, which inner organs do you know. These are these. Esophagus, yes. trachea, yes. or larynx, yes. uh, pharynx, yes. thyroid gland, vessels. That is why uh, heat is, that is trachea, heat is yes. esophagus, yes. and that is vessels, and heat is vessels, vessels. And this fascia, fascia and the cervicalis, is, it has parietal layer and visceral. Parietal layer surround all of these organs together, and visceral layer surround each of these organ. That is visceral layer. It is visceral. <laughs> letter A, that is visceral layer, and letter B, that is parietal layer. And last fascia, fifth, it is in front of vertebral column and it is surround deep muscles of the neck, for example, scalenos muscles, that is fascia prevertebralis, fifth fascia, fascia prevertebralis. Uh, three spaces you need to know. First space, that is space between superficial and deep layer of fascia colipropria. In this space is above of sternum, that is why Name of this space is Spatium Interaponeuroticum Suprasternale, above of sternum. Next space is space between parietal and visceral layer of fascia and the cervicalis, that is space in front of trachea, Spatium Pretracheale. Sometimes previscerale, that is the same. Spatium pretracheale or previscerale. And last space between fourth and fifth fascia, that is retropharyngeal space. Spatium retropharyngeale. Clitis. Names of five fascia, names of these spaces, and names of muscles. What is last number? Five. That is why six, that is platysma. Seven, sternocleidomastate muscle. H, that is omohyoid muscle. Nine, sternohyoid muscle. Ten, sternothyroid muscle. And uh, uh, eleven, that is trapezius muscle. And number twelve, that is deep muscles of the neck. For example, longus coli or longus capitis or scalenus muscle. That is deep muscles. So what is five then? Five, that is fifth fascia. Fascia okay. prevertebralis. Prevertebralis. This diagram you need to draw. Excuse me. Please. Sir, are these uh, spaces filled with interstitial fluid? No, heat is uh, usually uh, heat is fat tissue, and uh, if uh, inflammation on the neck, for example, inflammation in front of trachea, or inflammation is behind of pharynx. Uh, in this case, pus can descend uh, through this space into thoracic cage. That is why it may be dangerous for human life if some, for example, in inflammatory process, pass descend from neck to thoracic cage. Heat is fat in space between this fascia. Uh, so what are these uh, pharynx here? Pharynx or superiorly pharynx, inferiorly esophagus. Oh, yeah. uh, if we cut neck at the level of six cervical vertebrae, that is esophagus. If we cut at the level of Second, third, or fourth 
cervical vertebra. That is the pharynx. Clear? In upper part of the neck, in upper part, this fascia and this fascia fuse together in midline and makes linear alba. But this diagram is in lower part of the neck, in, in, in above of the sternum, and that is why uh, these two fascia uh, separates one from another with the help of space. Spatium interoperneurogicum suprasternale. In upper half, heat is linear alba, the same like on the abdomen. Okay. That is all.